Fucking. Ooh, look, a book, a book shop. That's a pretty good one. Okay. Hello, hello, everyone. Hope you're having an excellent day today. We're doing pretty good here at Atlanta Brick Co. We're going to be doing another store tour. We do these twice a week, so we do Tuesdays and Fridays at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much for joining us. We sure appreciate you guys tuning in. The tour is nigh. I'm so happy. There we go, Nexus is like, That's the vibe. I love it. All right. Who all is here? Let's see. Henry the Horse. Finlandia. There you go. Recurring Awesome is here. Good to see you. Tegan is here. Grumpy J. Gary. A lot of our friends. Brad P. Morgan. Josiah. Yep. Good to see you all. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in today. We sure appreciate it. We've got a bunch of Lego stuff in the store to look at as usual. And uh, let's see. Hello from Valdosta. Good to see you, James. There's Nostalgia Clan. Good to see you, Nostalgia. Aaron. What's up? Not too much, Aaron. How about you? Please don't go down the Star Wars aisle. Just kidding. Oh, well, Morgan, here we go. Star Wars, <laughs> Star, Wars Star Wars. Yeah, the, um, the guys behind the counter started chanting as soon as you said that, Morgan. So we're going to head back here. Did they fix the lights by chance? Yes, they have. Uh, we replaced the light bulbs in Star Wars. It's nice and bright again so we can see what's going on without tripping over ourselves or just looking into the blackness. Can I have the store, please? Well, so Aaron, you can have the store, but you got to buy it, and that would be extremely expensive to get everything. So let's see. Hiya. Good to see you, Ella. How are you doing? Whoops, meant to put an exclamation point. <laughs> no worries. I, I guess it was just a typical hiya. Maybe it was a questioning highlight. Hiya? What you doing? So, I went crazy at the Lego store at Disney Springs on March 1st. That's a good time to go crazy at the Lego store, Brad P., especially in Disney Springs. Malister said, I would prefer he hung out in the Nexus section as punishment for accepting all the blasphemy about redcoats. I'm sorry, Malister. I have to let all comments go through as long as they're, you know, you know, PG. I guess redcoats comments could be considered not PG, maybe? I don't know. Ha. Huh. Take that, uh... Take that dark side. No Darth Garth raids today. Exactly. No Darth Garth for a while because Joe is off in New Zealand. Yeah, I wish I don't get that money. No worries, Aaron. I don't have enough to buy the store either. There's Garrett. I have a question. Go ahead, Garrett. We are here for questions. And if I don't see it, Morgan might answer it or any of the other chat might be able to help you too. They pretty much know the drill at this point. Forgot to mention, but you can call me Tari. Pronounced Tari. I'm the founder of the Nostalgia Clan. There you go, Tari. Good to know. I will try to remember that. D. Holden says, oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> Mark emoji. I love it. How did it hit your wallet, Brad P? Oh, I bet Brad P's kind of smarting from that. So That is an expensive uh, trip. Every time you go to the Lego store, it's like you usually end up spending a little more than you expect. We know what that's like working here. Uh, wondering what you guys have in Hidden Side? Looking for the castle set. Ooh, that's a really cool one, Ella. Let's go look at Hidden Side. I don't think we have the, the castle right now, though. That's from the Series 2 of uh, Hidden Side, and we have a little less of that. We have all the Series 1 Hidden Side sets and figures, but the second one was a lot rarer than the first. Are we talking mortgage level hit or car loan level hit? Probably both, Malister. Let's see. Uh, Garrett said, I have a Lego Stanley Cup. It has a Lego logo sticker on it, and I don't know what, where it, it's from or what it's worth. Hmm, that's a good question, Garrett. You could send us an email, or you could try and find it on uh, Bricklink. We can usually search up different pieces there and find some answers. That's the biggest Lego database that we use. So here's our hidden side selection for Ella. Let's see. Oh, there's a question. Any new SpongeBob? Not that I know of, D. Holden, but we can glance at that in a second. A little nice. I already want another delivery truck. Those are pretty cool. Just bought two Batman figures from y'all. Appreciate it, Brick Films. Thank you so much. Also, Mom says that we're going to the local Toys R Us to buy a Lego set soon. They recently op reopened in Buckhead. There you go. That's awesome, Tari. Let's see. It's a mini version, and it's chrome. Ooh, that's cool, Garrett. I don't know. It might be special. I, I don't remember seeing a lot of chrome trophy pieces, so that's pretty unique. I would definitely do some research. Maybe even Google might be able to have some answers as far as Lego stuff. But yeah, so a number of hidden side sets. I do like this cemetery set. They really can't tell what's going on from the front of the box, but the back has some actual Lego builds in it that we can identify what's going on. But uh, yeah, a number of hidden side sets. I don't think we have the castle. We do have the school, which is kind of cool, or the high school, I should say. 
Any barbed wire pieces yet? Uh, I can check for you, Keller, but I'm guessing we don't really have them right now. Uh, let's see. Any old ninja samurai figures? We sure do, Henry. What else was I looking for? I was looking at... Um, uh, Forceman sets, says Ben. We can look for those while we're over here, too. Top shelf. We'll try and circle around there. There's a lot of good requests. Appreciate you guys. Do you have any orange or green classic spacemen in stock, my friend? We will check recurring awesome really quick before we go to Forceman stuff. There is green right here. They are whopping $30 each, which is very expensive. But, I mean, that's kind of, unfortunately, kind of par for the course for some of these classic spacemen. But uh, the green ones are 30 each. You got the yellow and red, uh, excuse me, yellow and white for $9.99. They're a lot more affordable right now. So that's good. All right, Claxton, it's Nixon night's time. Oh no. Well, we're already up to 17 likes. If we get 40 likes on the video, I will have to wear the Nexo armor as per the rules. So. Brick Economy says the mini Stanley Cup is worth $90. That's awesome. So if, if uh, Garrett is still here, that's a good, good answer there. Wait, is that Benny the Spaceman? Oh, yeah. Do you have any sets from the Lego movie? We sure do, Nostalgia Clan, or, or Tari, excuse me. We can check for you. Any latest additions to Technic? We can check. And I'm trying to remember it was, uh, um, Henry was asking about old ninja figures, so we'll look for those. What's the most underpriced slash overpriced set you have in your opinion? Hmm, good question. I would say that some of these older Lego themes can be very, very affordable, particularly some city sets can be really a good value. Um, some of the overpriced ones could be, you can see a lot of Minecraft and Star Wars going for very high numbers. So that's pretty interesting. Let's see, I also have a Lego goat and a Kobe Bryant keychain. Those are very nice items, Garrett. There are no mini Stanley Cups for sale on Bricklink. Oh my goodness. That's awesome, Morgan. Thank you for that information. We sure appreciate it. But yeah, we've got plenty of Forrester figures. I don't know if we have any Forrester sets right now. I'm not seeing any. I do know we have a uh, newer Forrester set in the form of the uh, Forest Hideout, which is a really nice set. As the original, uh, very similar to the original pieces and prints here. So some very nice stuff. But it's Pharaoh's Quest time. <laughs> and I think uh, Gary also donated $5 too. Where'd that go? There it is. Just a small contribution towards Mark's future Aston Martin. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Gary. I will I will use it. Appreciate it. Let's see. No, it's Chima time. Just kidding. Oh, good grief. Well, thank you guys, everyone, for throwing some $2 and $5 our way. We sure appreciate it. Let's see. Uh, is Garrett coming to New Zealand? I don't think so. Um, and NZL stands for New Zealand, I'm guessing. Tegan is from New Zealand, so he's he's over there right now, and I'm guessing it's a very different time of day. Joe is also visiting New Zealand right now, so he is uh, traveling around the countryside. I'm guessing he's looking at the Lord of the Rings stuff. Uh, the Lord of the Rings filming locations are pretty cool. Um, I got one of those old Green Ninjas for $3 at a garage sale. That's a really good deal, uh, Keller. They go for $120 here, or you can get a more used one for $90. So, very cool. No, I'm in North Georgia. There you go, Garrett. But yeah, we've got plenty of castle figures, plenty of Forester figures, plenty of ninja figures, and uh, Vikings, a bunch of classic Lego themes. We don't, I, I would say all of them except Pharaoh's Quest. Because we don't have any of that right now. <laughs> Not even a poly bag, I don't think. Oh, no, 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 no. One Pharaoh's Quest poly bag back there. There we go. That's about it. All that other stuff can be found on our website, though, for sure. So, going to upload a commentary on... The Lego projects I'm going to make for my series soon. Thanks to artificial, artificial intelligence, I was able to make some concept art for certain places. There you go, Nostalgia Clan. That's awesome. Or Tari. I'll remember it one day. Tari. One million pesos for next time. There you go. Could you show off the horses? Oh, like the horse armor? Yeah, let's do that recurring awesome. Let's go look at those. Really quickly. Then we'll look at uh, the top shelf. So here's some of the very expensive horse armor pieces. Some of these can be affordably priced at $30 or $24, but then some of these get all the way up to $40, $50, or even more. I think we have $80 on the dark green one over there, which is just insane. Any agents, alpha team, and slash ultra agent stuff? We do have quite a few of those things, Ella. We got a section of them over here. So you can see original agents, original ultra agents. You got... Um, Alpha Team, which is the couple of rows right in here. I think we even have some Dino Attack over there, too. If 
anyone is interested, there is a video on my YouTube page about the new storefront at Longwood, Florida, my Millennium Falcon collection. Oh, <laughs> yes, I actually had, uh, I was watching it through the channel's YouTube not too long ago, and I subscribed to Brad P. He's got a couple of good videos on there to watch. I think Grumpy J has a channel too. Gotta follow those guys. So. Alrighty, let's uh, move on to the top shelf. And I'm sure I haven't seen a dozen requests because we've got a lot of comments and we sure appreciate it. But if I, if I haven't seen it and I skipped over it, just, uh, you know, drop it in there again. And we will try to circle back as best we can. There's a lot of requests. We love it. All right. You got the fairground mixer, the bookshop, the mill village rave, which is very nice. Let's get to 40 likes. Mark has to build every neck zone. There we go. Oh, no. If we get 40 likes, I'll wear the armor. If we get, let's see, 70 likes, then I would be tempted to build an next set. I have one at home, and I could build it. That'd be pretty fun. All right, motorized excavator. I have the, um, what is it? which one is it? The, the Fortrex. I actually have that one. It was given as a gift to me a long time ago, and I never built it. So, uh, motorized excavator. We've got the Batmobile, 1989 version. You got the AT-AT, the Rebel Snowspeeder. You got the TIE Fighter Collection, the Rebel Blockade Runner, the Y-Wing Attack Starfighter, the Diagon Alley set, the Disney Train, which is a really nice one. Um, the village, and we've got the cafe corner over there, and some chess pirates and adventurers, too. Beneath that, we've got Build-A-Bob, we've got the Lego House Duck, which is a very cool set. We also have the Lego House Architecture set. Those are both exclusive to the Lego House. Very hard to find. Steven, I think, traded those in. We're up to 34. There you go, Tegan. 40 likes, or Michael, Michael has to buy every Nexo Nights from you. Oh, no. Not yet. Let's go look at that. This what do we got the, here, Chris? This, do you know what set this is? That looks like the Saturn V set. Close. It's the Saturn IV. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's missing oh, sorry. that last fifth of it. You're right. Last it's only up, up to number four, not right. number five. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. We don't know what to do with it. It's missing too many parts for us to do anything we normally do with it. Yep. So, but it looks good, right? Yeah, looks pretty good. How about the highest offer on the live stream takes it? Oh. Oh, but you have to you have to pay for shipping. Mm -hmm. Um this shipping to California would be about thirty dollars probably. Yep. Shipping, Twenty, thirty dollars. Shipping anywhere to the Midwest, like Chicago, mm -hmm. Texas, probably twenty. Yep. Anywhere East Coast, Ohio. So it's expensive to ship. Near us, you're looking at maybe fifteen dollars. Yeah, there you go. A lot better, fifteen dollars. So uh, highest bid on the live stream can have it. Okay, I see seven dollars from Corey. But you do have to pay shipping. Seven dollars and one cents from Malastare. Oh man. There you go. Incremental, still increments of at least a dollar. Yeah, at least go up. <laughs> so at least go up a dollar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he won't like that. Oh, no. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, that is a good set. It is missing a lot of pieces. <laughs> Michael says $7.02. <laughs> oh, dear. Michael, you can't even round it up to $8? Oh, man. It is cool pieces, though. I mean, honestly. It's 703. Ethan, you're supposed to be working. Or have you left already? I don't know. Chris, we're up to seven dollars and three cents. Seven oh seven. Oh oh oh! Grump, Grumpy J did eight eight uh, fifty three, and Brad P just said twenty five. I mean, that's gotta be at least five pounds, maybe. Yeah. It's got most of the. Let me think. I use. Oh. I curl with fifty pound. Oh yeah. Tegan just said fifty. Yeah, that's three hundred. Oh. Ta Tari just said fifty two. That's that's already pretty high, guys. Fifty dollars. Wow. That's awesome. And you gotta call the store. Yeah, you have to call the store. You have to call the store and buy it. Hundred dollars. Well, Tari, if you're interested, call the store. Fifty-one dollars and one cent. I guess it's now like whoever calls first, right? So. Tell Chris about the mini Stanley Cup. Oh yeah, so one of our viewers found a mini Chrome Stanley Cup. Let's see. So we looked at the top shelf. Oh, these are cool. We've got these display cases here. You got uh, the child. Looks like a bot. <laughs> Who looks like a bot? 
Is that Grant? Hi. <laughs> Check that you're not a robot. Recapture. Right. Yeah, we got the child here for 130 in this big glass case. This is actual glass too. It's pretty nice. And you got 120 right here for the Thanos gauntlet. Giving us the A-OK. -okay. There you go. We got the football trophy. This is for the winner of our fantasy football league. And that is John right there hanging out. Wow, Grant the Legend, says Gary. That's him. Yes. Grant and Vogan emoji. <laughs> Love it. There's the Lego Masters trophy. All right. What other uh, set themes, set minifigures, uh, anything you guys are wanting to look for? I think we talked about a couple earlier. Let's see. Let's see. Saturn Five. How much is the Disney train? We got that one. I think uh, Morgan was able to answer it. And we're at 36 likes. We need just like a few more to get up to the right amount. So we're almost there, guys. Let's see. Um, we've already looked at Star Wars a little bit. We don't really need to go back there unless somebody did miss something. Let me scroll back down. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's see. Don't want to mess with the comments too much. Any Prince of Persia? That's a good request. We do have some right over here. And trains. Garrett was asking about trains. We can look at that. The Lego Movie, of course. Tari, we can look at the Lego Movie. So we let's. We're here at Prince of Persia, so we'll check this out. Um, we've got the Quest Against Time, which is a very cool set. I'm pretty sure these have gone up a little bit. So sixty nine dollars to seventy dollars, not too bad. The Fight for the Dagger, which features a very cool camel piece. That one is $89, and I think it's because of that camel and some of the cool figures. Some very nice Prince of Persia characters. I, I watched the Prince of Persia movie. It wasn't my favorite, but it was had some cool parts to it. It's $60 for the ostrich race, which is with the great ostrich pieces. Very nice. How much do you think I could get for the architecture falling water set? Ooh, like the trade-in, Ella? I'm not sure. It's probably pretty valuable. Let's look for trains, um, the Lego movie. Let's look at the Lego movie really quick. That's for Atari here. So we've got the pop-up party bus here. Get a couple of those. The super secret police dropship. That's pretty cool. What's funny is they have a similar windscreen design. Maybe they took the, the police dropships and made them into party buses. They just did some window tinting, some uh, paint job, you know. Prince of Persia had all the ingredients of an amazing movie. It just didn't happen. I don't know what... Yeah, it's kind of baffling why it didn't work, Corey. But for some reason, it didn't land for everybody. There's the Emmett's Constructo Mech. It's very cool. Rex is Rex Explorer. A lot of Rex naming there. You got the Flying Flusher. This is a classic. This is our party crew with the very cool gold, purple, and I like this, this fuzzy scarf here. It's pretty awesome. Ooh, R. Claxton wants to see Bionicle. We can look at that, too. That's going to be right over to our left. But let's check and make sure. Built SpongeBob. I don't think we have that much built SpongeBob. But we'll check. Batman 1. We probably have even less Batman 1, but we'll check. Let's see. Built SpongeBob. There's a few boats over here. These are from SpongeBob. But that's about it. In the Glove World ride over here. Those are nice. We also need to look at trains for everybody, too. So not too much SpongeBob, just a few figures. And a few Scooby-Doo figures going out. Yep, trains, we get it. Well, you got you, Michael. We'll look at trains. Let's see. Wow, a lot of Snowtrooper packs in there. There are some of those. Let's see. Old stuff, Star Wars. Let's look at trains. There's a lot of requests for trains. Let's do that here. And we'll have to ask, check on Batman 1 in a second, too, here. So we got a few train things over here. I like that passenger train set. It has the controller. I'm guessing it has the motor in there, too. That one is 140. Looks like it has figures as well. Ooh, there's the uh, passenger train car right there from the World City sets. Got another passenger train car right there. 89 for that one, 140 for that one. Got some high speed trains right here. <laughs> I'll have to ask him, uh, Gary. Uh, Pastor Michael, what's the good word? 
I like it. I really want to make a Lego version of the Marta train. That would be cool, Tari. You see a star destroyer and how much is it? Ooh, ooh, this one here. So Blaze, this is the uh, the newer UCS one. It's a thousand dollars is the listing price. However, twenty percent off all built sets till at least the end of the weekend. Yeah, so it's eight hundred, right? So, which is a lot closer to the original retail, which um, means it's a pretty good deal. Today I'll do seven ninety nine ninety nine. There you go. Seven hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. That's a great deal. That's awesome. You want my two cents? It'd be seven nine nine ninety seven. <laughs> Need to make trains a little and cheaper? They sure do. Throw in a pack of Chima cards. <laughs> oh my gosh. Trading cards. Hey, that's a pretty this good deal. Better by the second. Who knows who's inside, but Lennox is right on top. Yeah, he is. He's like the main character, too, so that's yeah. pretty awesome. It's literally a deal you can't pass on. Yeah. Exactly. All right, so we also have the Crocodile Locomotive here. Somebody was asking about how much this one. This is 140 but down here. Looks pretty complete. I don't see that much missing or knocked off, so it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Yeah, number of train items in here. Some of these are online, some of them aren't. So, who is this crazy businessman? Three more likes. Oh my goodness. R. Claxton. You're right. I know you want to see me wear next night armor, but you know, you got to get the likes first. There's a cool old train station. Looks like it kind of got knocked over. Just out of curiosity, what Lego Duplo sets do you have? Debating whether to collect these or not. They're pretty cool, Tari. We'll go look at them here. There's one I was looking at that's pretty recent. Any Santa Fe? We do have a Santa Fe, Gary. It's over in the back. No worries, Art Claxton. I like wearing the armor, too. If we get to 40 likes, it's a win for me. 40? Oh, no. I see 39 here. We need at least another like or two. Come on, guys. We have 49 people watching. There we go, there we go. All right, happy childhood moments. This is a pretty cool Duplo set. And you turn it around, it's a completely different set. Different roof colors, different everything. So that's kind of cool. It has a uh, Duplo panda in there too. All right. And we got a bunch more Duplo sets up and around here. And these should all be online too. So you can look those up on the website. All righty. Grant or Michael or somebody up at the counter, can you hold this for a moment while I get my armor? Yes, of course. There you go. Thank you, Grant. It's armor time. Uh, yeah. I forgot this moves over this. So cool. There goes that, that man. This poor defeated man. <laughs> armor up. 43 likes. Oh, man. What did I say for if I if I get 70 likes in this video, I have to build my next night set that I have at home. That's, that's a good deal. Portraits. Grant, the return of Grandpa. <laughs> yeah, we need to get on some more videos here soon. Now that we've got <laughs> more days of work. <laughs> right. All right. There he is. Good? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> they love that. Stretch my arms. There we go. <laughs> That's good. Ah. Armored up. How we doing, Chet? What's up? Oh, just say armored time. Hey, Grant. Good, good to see you. Well, that settles it. I'm going to collect Lego duplicates as well, even if mom complains. There you go, Tari. Sounds good. That's going to be the, the hashtag armor up. And it means to like the video so Mark has to wear the next night armor. I need to get another suit, though. I have an Aaron suit over there. I need to fix it up. Alrighty, we looked at trains. Oh, yeah, let's look at the Santa Fe really quick, because that was being talked about. Garrett was asking about that one. Right past Vogan here. <laughs> I wanted to say hi to Vogan. Sorry. How you doing, Vogan? There you go. Just got uh, some custom figures in. Oh, nice. Getting them added online and added to the cases. Very cool. Yeah, there's a Santa Fe Super Chief and a Santa Fe mail car right there, too. So very cool. Oh, you want to bring him over here? Appreciate it. Let's see. Da, 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 da. There you go. Might be going there next week. That'd be cool, Zachary. Ooh, look at that. There's the mail, mail car. Very nice. And the Santa Fe, limited edition, very cool. I like it in that plastic wrap, keeping it safe. All right, I'll, uh, can we see poly bags? We can do that. Will Chris be in the store next week? I think so, Andrew, we'll have to check here. Let's see. Well, maybe he's, I don't think he's on the floor. I'll ask him next time I see him. I'm pretty sure he'll be here next week. 
But uh, we were looking at poly bags. How much is the Lego house? Oh, the architecture one? I don't know. Okay, Grant just told me it's 250 for the Lego house architecture set. Mark, will you do some t-shirts with United Brick Co. logo in two locations on them? We can. We can do that, Brad P. I still need to talk to Chris about your security shirts, too. I think that'd be hilarious. So. It's not zooming all the way. There you go. No more riding the bench for this guy. Exactly. What about 50 likes to do a three-hour next to live with Will Arnett during the one hour live? Oh, no, 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 no. 50 likes is too low. We need 70 likes if we're going to be building next tonight's. Mark, will you do some t-shirts with United Brick Co? Oh, yeah, we talked about that. Lego House sealed. Um, these poly bags are all sealed. So um, the Santa Fe and the Lego House sets we were talking about are all sealed. Any Chima sets and figs? I'd take built or sealed. We have those, Ella. Whoops, came in late today. No worries, Geology Joe. What do we got here? So back to the Saturn V. Yep. Uh, I'll take 40 bucks for it plus shipping. So, okay. Uh, if somebody does want it, just call the store and buy it. Yes. Chris is very serious about selling that uh, Saturn V, guys. So give the store a call if you're interested. You heard him, guys. Let's go. There you go. We need a shirt for hashtag Team Morgan and call it Team Van Hammer. There we go. Any Star Wars poly bags? We might have a few, Blaze. Let's look at uh, Chima really quick for Ella. We'll head over there. I'll take ABC security shirt. Chat security. Exactly. I think you count as security, Morgan, because you're, you know, virtual digital security. So we'll <laughs> have to get you one, too. 40 to steal. Great printed parts on the center. I know. It's nice. Just for the parts alone, it's a good deal. So here's War is Combat Layer, which is like a mobile wolf tank thing. It's pretty crazy. 110 for that one. I think that's sealed. Got Mammoth's Frozen Stronghold. That's kind of cool. We got the big bone wreckage here. So $80 for that. Also a pretty good deal. Sir Fangar's Sabertooth Walker. 110 for this one. And then you got the Razar's Chi Raider for $49.99. Aquila's Ultra Striker, mm, $64.99, so that's a bit more expensive. Probably because of Will Hurt there, that Black Wolf guy, he's pretty cool. Yeah, we've got a number of Chima sets from all three waves. you got the Wave 3 ones here. Lavertus's Twin Blade. It's pretty neat. Got Sparatus's Spider Stalker. This is pretty wild. $69.99 for that one. Yeah, we got a number of Chima sets. I don't think we have as many Chima minifigures. We got a few right over here, but just a handful left. We haven't restocked them in a while, so it'll be a minute. <laughs> There's uh, Laval, the classic character there. Oh no, that might be his friend. That's Laval, I think. Yeah. Does Chris want to buy my mini uh, Stanley Cup? I have no use for it. Oh, well, Garrett, if you're interested in selling or trading stuff, you need to send us uh, uh, go to our website, atlbrick.com, which there's also a link in the description. Then you can check uh, the buy and trade form, and then you can submit a form and see what we would give you in store credit or buy it from you. So that's the best way to do it because it's harder to just send an email. It tends to get buried. How you doing, youth pastor Michael? I'm doing pretty good. good. <laughs> that's good. You don't look as youth pastorish today. No, you don't have your glasses. You're missing your flannel. So. school day. There you go. Yeah. Glasses are in the truck. Yeah. Michael's working diligently on the Scooby-Doo figures, which is great because we need more of those out. So. Trading with ATL is so easy. Chris is very fair. Oh, thank you, Jill. Jill. That's great. Ah, so much Lego, so little time. That's right, Mark C. I heard Chris's voice. Let me go check and see if he's going to be around next week. I think it was Andrew was asking about that. Saturn Rocket is worth the 40 bucks just in the unusual pieces in it. Exactly. Chima wave sounds like a type of water wave. That That's true. True Geology Joe, where is... Chris, you back here? No? No, Chris is gone again, so he's gone. Thank you. Alrighty, we're only halfway through the stream. We're doing great. So, Item number for the Stanley Cup is H-K-Y-C-U-P. So yeah, well, there you go. Pastor Michael, Mark needs to repent for hating Nexo. Oh, no. The possibilities are endless already. 
Well, were there any requests that I missed here? Is Pastor Michael in today? Yeah, he is. He was over there. We were just talking with him. You can sell trade Lego. My house is like a Lego roach motel. They check in, but they don't check out. Old TV commercial reference. There you go. What happens to the poly bag case next to the, I guess, new recording studio? Oh, um, yeah, there's a few poly bags over here. You're right. Right here next to the studio and the bathroom, you got a bunch of weird Lego stuff, poly bags, unusual figures, prototypes, misprints, rare stuff like this metal Krana from Bionicle. Super rare. Super expensive stuff, too. You got some Cloud City Boba Fett's over here. We got one Comic Con figure left, the Bizarro Superman. A couple of blue milk Lukes up here. Any new Marvel Lego minifigures? We've always got Marvel minifigures. I don't know if we have any new ones. I think that Ethan was working on them. We'll go look at that. Someone is calling in to buy the rocket now. <laughs> Could be. How much are the coins? Let's check on that for you, Garrett. So the case is only 10. The space one's 50. Castle one's 40. I don't know why. And the city one's 42. I think that's all that we have right now. Oh. Pirate run over here is also 40. And I think there's four, oh no, excuse me, there's five total. All of them together is $200. So, which is saving some because that one is not available separately, so. Mm -hmm. Technic, please, we can look at that, Tegan. And where was Chris? There is Chris, you gonna be here next week, Andrew was asking? There you go, thanks, Chris. All right. Oh, and we were looking at Marvel figures, right? Let's go look. Are the Marvel, Marvel figures in the back right now? Nope. Okay, they're out front? Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Only, one. Only one's in the back, okay. Yeah, I think Ethan is currently restocking a lot of the Marvel figures, but we'll go look and see what's out here first, then we'll go check in the back. We'll also probably look at Technic on the way back, too. Yeah, there we go. So, Marvel missing over here. But we've got some right here, which is some Spider-Man stuff. We've got some over here, which is like CMFs and other newer figures like the Eternals. So yeah, go ahead and look up atlbrick.com and look up minifigures and look up Marvel. You can find all those. They're pretty nice. Do you have any Luminara head dresses? Uh, Lu Luminara? I don't know which figure character that is. I'll have to... Search it up on our website and see if we have it. Is my sig fig still safe, Mark? Yes, Daniel hasn't messed with it yet. Let's go see how Ethan's doing in the back with all the minifigures. There's Ethan. Just chilling, vibing back here. Working on figures. Ooh, very nice. What do we got over here? Just a bunch of the heroes and such? Yeah, I just did the CMFs too. Just the C CMFs? That's awesome. Thanks, Ethan. Keep it up. Yeah, Ethan's working on all the figures back here, getting them added back to the display. Is it possible to trade in mocks? It is, Ella, but they, they, we really have trouble selling mocks versus sets, so they tend to not have as much you know, trade-in value as like a nice, cool set. So, But yes, you can. We have bought some mocks before. I think Ethan actually traded in a Batmobile mock, and it did sell. It's pretty cool. Yet being the operative word, exactly. I hope he doesn't get claustrophobic. No, I think he's just having a good time back there, actually. Wait, do you make custom minifigures? We don't make them here at Atlanta Brickup, but we do sell them. UCS Imperial Shuttle Price. We can check on that for you. That's a great set. Yeah, it's currently... Oh, is it 1,000? Let's see. Michael was giving me it, numbers on it, but I didn't hear him. $1,000, but it's 20% off, so that makes it 800 Is that right? So. so it's on sale right now. But, man, that's a cool set. It's in very good shape. I don't think it has any of the original minifigures, but, I mean, most of the people collecting it were getting for the build. So. No worries, Neil. Thanks for asking. Just purchased two Batman figures, two Batman minifigures from y'all. Appreciated Brick Films. That's awesome. Yeah, $799.99. Today only. <laughs> so these are some of our cool custom figures. I like the Jubilee character. I'm a big fan of the X-Men series. So. There's Beast down there too. He looks good. 
doing the happy dance. Yeah, babe, I get to go to space. There you go, Banda. I feel like Lego Scooby-Doo was a huge missed opportunity. They made a new animated Scooby-Doo film almost every year. Pretty much an endless set idea supply. Exactly. They really need to make more Scooby-Doo stuff. People are very interested in any of those licensed older themes. So. Are you guys on multiple platforms, i.e. TikTok or Facebook Reels? Yeah, we're on Facebook, uh, Proton uh, Proxy. We also have a TikTok. It's the same as our, um, you know, social medias is Atlanta Brick Co. or sometimes ATL Brick Co. But yeah, look us up. You should see our logo on it. Hello, TR minifigs I ordered just showed up. Thanks. That's awesome, TV on Crete. Those are really nice. Let's see, where are we on? Recurring awesome. If you live near Longwood, Florida, they're hiring. Exactly. There we go. Got that. Got that. All right. Is my sig fig still safe? Yeah, I think we got, we're caught up. There you go. Keep bugging Chris about the HP minifig. Oh, <laughs> No worries. Let's see. How much for the prototype clones? Not cheap. They're pretty expensive. 19 more likes for the next Alive with Mark and Steven. We can do that. We can do that. We've got to keep getting those likes. Oh, no. TikTok. Yeah, we don't like TikTok. Well, I don't like TikTok, I should say. A lot of people like TikTok. So. Teleporting to Florida immediately to get a job at OBC. There you go. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. There was a guy looking at the pirate section earlier. I was like, look, it's Malister's twin. That's funny. Does anyone know about the HP minifig with a little wand and magnet ball? Oh, Quidditch gear. Let's go look at that geology gel. Let's go see if we have any back there. What is your personal favorite minifigure? Ooh, there's a couple. There's a couple classic castle figures that are really nice. There's also some older adventurers figures that are really cool. I like the Achu... Um, you know, Native American chieftain figure. He's really cool. But, uh, yeah, there's just... Lego has made a bunch of very, very special minifigures over the years. So. Let's see. Got a couple custom wands here. You got a bunch of Harry Potter figures. Some of them with magic wands, some of them not. I don't see the, uh, the magnet piece yet. A number of the animals are over here. There's the sword. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see the magnet piece, though. So I don't think we have one right now, um, uh, Geology Joe, but thank you for checking, though. How much is the mixer? Oh, uh, which mi mixer? Well, then, Ellie, you'll see Brad, P, and myself a lot. There you go. I'm not sure which mixer we're talking about, but to go ahead and elaborate further if you need to, Garrett. I'm not, I'm not understanding that one. Uh, any late wave next night stuff <laughs> missed on it because I don't like the theme, but those villains in the last wave were are pristine. I know, they're pretty cool. Need an evil Lego hologram in my life. There you go. Let's look at them, Ella. We've we got enough likes to get there. 57 likes. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate it. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Got 62 people watching right now. That's awesome. So it looks like we have only wave one and some wave two. Like this is wave two. Wave ones. Wave one and wave two over here. So no wave three next to nights right now. A little bit of one and two. Oh. Oh, the fairground mixer. Yes, that's pretty cool. I want a goat, a Lego goat. Oh, Geology Joe, so do I. They're pretty awesome. I think they're going to be making a new one soon, so I would hold off a... Not a real goat. No space for that. No kidding, Geology Joe. <laughs> no, Garrett, the store never has Lego goats. Mark and Daniel buy them all. <laughs> I actually only own one Lego goat, and it's very chewed up, and it has some, like, red Sharpie on it. So it's like a, a violent psychopath goat. And I, it's hiding in my collection somewhere, and I'm kind of worried. The goats are spendy. They sure are. We don't have any Lego goats right now, do we? Let's see. Let's see. We've got the reindeer and we've got cows, but no Lego goats. See, there's the 
the case for him, but no goats. <laughs> yeah, lots of cool Lego animals for sale. So the goat on eBay is 110 US. Yeah, that's a pretty normal price for goats. Maybe you could get them for a little less, but what is the most rare food item that you own personally? Ooh, um, there are some very unusual Scala and Belleville, um, you know, bottles and uh, cups and stuff like that. It's not a food item, but it's like a utensil that's used for food items. So it's probably the rarest piece of that, that type that I have. But the ones over here in the store, we've got a, n a number of pizzas, hot dogs. The whole turkeys are kind of rare. We've got a couple of those. Croissants, pies, pineapples. The cherries, oh, those are cool. Five for a dollar. That's actually a pretty good deal on cherries. Yeah, a number of cool stuff. Coral, oh, I like the green coral pieces. Those are nice. Lots of great stuff. I think these are all on the website too. I could be wrong, but. How much for the Prince of Persia horse? Oh, let's check on that recurring awesome. Let's see. There's one here, $9.99 for the one with the printing on it, which is pretty cool. It's got that cool blanket. Are the goat prices going to go down if they make a new one? Maybe a little bit, Garrett, but probably not that much. The only difference is you'll be able to get a new goat for probably 5 to $10 right. for a while. It's like, it's like when they remade the uh, charge paper. It's yeah. The same thing. Yeah. yeah. Was that sign saying help wanted? That's right, Tegan. We've been hiring a few people recently. So. And we are definitely looking for people in the uh, Orlando location. So. Fun fact, you can remove Sharpie from Lego using whiteboard markers and slightly damp cloths. Just color over the Sharpie with the whiteboard pen and then wipe and repeat till the Sharpie's gotten. There we go. I have to try that. Checking in. Good to see you, goat bro. The OG goat will remain OG. <laughs> there you go. Got us a rocket. Oh, there you go, Michael. That's awesome. Now we don't have to do a flight test. Sold, yeah. It has been sold? That's awesome. No flight test needed. Maybe, the, maybe whoever's getting it can do a flight test of their own. Exactly. <laughs> that would be awesome. But hashtag armor up on the video. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hashtag. Hashtag armor up. Uh, Grant, Minecraft parts are not the same as castle pieces. Don't try to trick us. Exactly. Do you look at the shop as a, a personal part warehouse? If you had any idea for a mock, you could build it. Pretty much Proton. I know that I often buy stuff from the picker brick out here because I'll be looking for, say, lime green pieces. I need some lime green pieces. I'll, I'll come grab some from here to make a mock with. So that's what I will often, often do. And then another great way to get pieces is these build sets, especially if they're on sale like they are now. So you can just go and get some great stuff for great deals. So, geez, geez, Michael. Oh, drop it. Like this bad boy. People were asking about this one earlier. Very nice. <laughs> When's Ed there? Ed is always here on the weekends. So Saturdays and Sundays you can catch Ed. But uh, any other time, he's less likely to be here because he works a normal job as a therapist during the week. So that's where Ed is on days like today. So. Lego needs to make a Jimmy Neutron sets. Oh my gosh, Grumpy J, they sure do. Then we gotta find the actual snitch ball. There you go. Can we see architecture? We sure, we sure can, Bryce. Let's look at that. Did everyone watch the latest Mandalorian? I saw it. I thought it was pretty awesome. I'm not gonna drop any spoilers because there's people who probably haven't seen it, but it was very fun. Can we see the city? We sure can, Morgan. Let's finish looking at architecture first. Got a number of good architecture sets. Ed's a therapist, he sure is. <laughs> the most surprising of twists. A physical therapist, yes. So we got a bunch of cool architecture sets. I think the coolest of which is this uh, Trevi Fountain here. It's very nice. Haven't seen it since Cara Dune's days. Oh, I understand, Grumpy J. And as a physical therapist, there is a difference, Geoja. <laughs> you are a celebrity now, Mark. Oh, thank you, Tegan. Appreciate it.
What are your thoughts on the new mid-scale Super Star Destroyer? I don't even buy Star Wars, but I might get it. I know, Ella, it actually looks great. I think that they need to make more medium-sized Lego sets that are easier for people to acquire than those big five and $600 ones. So the more medium-sized stuff, the better. So there's Morgan over there taking more dog pictures. Got, I think it's Chris McBricker right there. Malister. Monkey. I also added Jacob and Grant's figures over there walking by the radio station. Super cool build. <laughs> it looks like Daniel is still being attacked by a minion, which is pretty terrible. We've also got uh, Nexus is Zack hiding in there. There's me in the back, there's Diana. I put BJ's Star Wars character in the back too. Brad P. Dawson Fulgrim over there too. It's a lot of great stuff in the city. What building is going in behind my figure in the corner? That's a good question, Josiah. That's gonna be at two buildings here, I think. We got one spot right there and one spot right here. So we're still figuring that out. I do know we have a Jersey Mike's over here. Wait, do I get a sig fig? Oh, well, yeah, also well, Proton Proxy, you have, are you part of the membership program? So send us an email with a picture of the minifigure that you want to include in the city, and we will build as close as possible to your original picture, and then we can put it in the city for you. Grandpa J and I need to go over and save Daniel. I could, we could arrange that. I'll tell Daniel that you want, to, want him to rescue you. I want you to rescue him, excuse me. A little Brad P. I will do that too. Yes, Geology Joe, you're part of the membership program too. It's 99 cents a month is the starting rate. It's very easy to get your figure in the city. Jersey Mike's is the best shop every... My favorite food is subs. There you go. That's awesome, Josiah. Got that in there. Had some lighting in it too. Wonder what troll would remove the hair on my sig fix. So yeah, GoPro, that was actually Daniel, I think. Or um, possibly um, Nexus, they actually removed your hair, so we need to put that back. And then BJ's figure was missing too, so we had to replace it with his Star Wars version. So sometimes things get moved around a little bit. Well, I'll be sure to get a new hairpiece for you there. So. Yay! This is your joke. Absolutely. And look, uh, Ed is actually the mayor of uh, our Lego town, so the approval rating for Ed has gone up to 18%, which is pretty high for Ed. He's pretty happy about that. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> exactly. There's his uh, billboard for his campaign. No taxes, no problems. That's his, uh, his slogan. It's pretty funny. Did Steven get some sleep? Oh, he was so sleepy Monday. Oh, yeah, I know. Stefan, he, he is doing a lot better now. I'm actually the one that's sleepy now because I'm feeling a little under the weather, but I'll be all right. So I need to move my sick fig to Jersey Mike's and avoid Daniel from now on. <laughs> I think he's going to do something to you here, uh, Nexus. We'll figure that out. I never think physical therapist when I hear therapist, so I work in psych psychiatry, so it kind of makes sense why. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'd vote for Ed. I mean, he did win the election, so it's pretty pretty serious. Uh, his support of the Gungans is political li is a political liability. <laughs> You're right, Malster. It sure is. Alrighty, but yeah, send us an email with a picture of your sig fig, and if you're in the membership program, we can uh, get you out there as soon as possible. It usually takes us at least a week or two because we're just busy and we get around to it eventually. But yes, quite a few of our friends are already out there. Up, up and away with those hot air bal balloons, exactly. We got one over here. It actually moves back and forth when you turn on the, the lights. It's pretty cool. Lego dinosaur figs. Let's look at those, Scope Bro. We've got a number of Lego dinosaurs in here, a lot of raptors and Dilophosauruses. Can I see the snow speeder? The one up on the top shelf? Yes, we can head over there. <laughs> Ed slash Boss Naz 2024. Exactly. Keep the jets away from my balloons. We'll try. Not voting for Ed until he deals with the minion organized crime. <laughs> that sounds about right, Ella. Marcel is causing ha havoc, stealing people's hair, etc. Exactly. Can you answer any questions you have about dinosaurs? There you go, Jelly Joe. I would, I would, I would actually want to know which one is the most accurate dinosaur here. I'm guessing T-Rex. 
but I could be wrong. F22 heavy breathing. <laughs> Make Ed great again? Oh no. Oh no, we don't want to go there. Oh no. No, um, Ed, Ed's, Ed's doing a great job keeping Lego City uh, afloat, so. I need a sandwich after getting attacked and recovering in the same day. There you go. Maybe the Triceratops? That's a good point, Joe. Joe. That one looks pretty cool. The horns are about right. And some of these Triceratopses are not too bad. Some, like the $100 one, that's pretty bad. The other two are 50 Raptors look good. Need feathers. There you go. Yeah, some of those details they uh, avoided on the movies so that Lego is following suit, so. It is great. No need to even try. He just is, he transcends. There you go, Alistair. Do you think the dinosaurs had feathers, Jolly Joe? There you go. Love those dino attack dinos. Try Sarah Tops equals three horned face. There you go. 63 likes, 65 watching now. That's great, guys. Appreciate it. We need to get to 70 to initiate the um, Lego Nexonites live stream. And it might be here on the channel. It might be on like my Instagram or my YouTube. I'll let you guys know. GoPro, I think Triceratops did, including raptors. Oh, Theropods did, including raptors. But yeah. Lots of good sets. Oh, hold on. I don't know if anyone needs the uh, Blacktron Cruiser. But this is a really nice. $60. It's not cheap, but very nice. I love the, those Dino Attack Dinos. That's right, Ant Bandit. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Ed walks into the room and it heavenly light shines down with ACDC music playing. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I can see that. Do you guys have the new moving truck gift with purchase in stock? I think we do, Ant Bandit. Let's go look at those. I see 65 likes. Deploy the buds. It's possible. Five more. Hmm, tempting. Ooh. Let's see. How much is Ray the Castaway? We're about to find out. We got one right over here. $40 for Ray the Castaway. Pretty good deal. Some good pieces in there. I like those bright green palm leaves there. There you go. So we got the Icons moving truck here. I think this is the only one we have right now, but we'll get more in. $59.99 for that one. I would love to work there. Wouldn't have much pay left, though. I mean, Tegan, that is our problem for sure. We definitely, uh, we experience that here quite a bit. If you're a Lego fan and you work here, you end up spending a lot on stuff that you see in the store, like this awesome pirate set. That's what happens. Oh, thank you, Michael. Appreciate it. Only two more. We are so close, guys. There's two more legs. Can we do it? Can we do it? Let's we'll see. I think it'd be funny. I'm a structural geologist, but I teach classes about dinosaurs and pretty much all ancient life. That's awesome, Geology Joe. That's really cool. Just hand your paycheck back to Chris. That, that you, You'd be surprised. How much is Eiffel's apartment? Oh, I missed that one, Gary. We'll go check on that one. I'm gonna give it two likes, two more likes on my other accounts. There you go, goat bro. That's how you do it. <laughs> Everyone's like, like the video, guys. <laughs> They're desperate now. They want to see that the live stream. 69, I see 69 on my counter. Think, oh, no, 70. That's it. Jeez. All right, 70 likes. We're good. So how much was Eiffel's apartment? 100, 100 for Eiffel's apartment. Pretty cool. 71, 72. All righty, you guys won. We'll do a next tonight live stream at some point. I'll build the four trucks. Maybe Steven and I could build the four trucks together. We'll figure it out. That might be next joy building. We'll see how that ends up shaking out. Unless uh, Steven doesn't want to, in which case it might be on my channel or uh, my Instagram. So we'll figure that out. <laughs> Good job, goat bro. Congratulations. So we have five minutes left in the stream. I want the parrot. Oh, you do, Joe? Joe. We'll head back over there. Look at the parrot. It's weird, though. Uh, yeah, I should be able to find it. Oh, thanks. Okay. So there's the little parrot, the medium parrot, and the giant parrot. We're wearing a chain. Any aqua zone? Let's check on that for you, Andrew. That's a good request. Are there instructions for the parrot on your counter? Unfortunately, no, Geology Joe. We uh, we built that one from scratch in-house, so 
don't think we have anything on hand. But if you need a parrot, you could always talk about a, a commission build. Send us an email. How much for the pig monster truck thing behind the counter? Oh, that's Ed's um, tank battles tank. So he, that's probably not for sale, Ella. Fun request, though. It is a really cool Minecraft giant pig thing. I think he actually took a Minecraft set and uh, just customized it into a vehicle. So don't see a lot of Aqua Zone. There's a little bit back there. There's Aqua Raiders here. And some Atlantis stuff down there, too. Let's see. There might be some over here. There's some other Aqua Raiders down there. Classics right there. There's some Stingrays in the back there. A lot of the box sets are going to be on our website. Some of the built ones are not. So if you see a built one, you can let us know. There's an Alpha Team Mission Deep Sea set, which is very Aqua Zone-esque. $50 for a new sealed one. That's a pretty good deal. I want to see the Dark Vader minifigure. There we go. We could look for those. Our rocket's still up for sale. Oh, no, Michael. We'll put it away. Make sure you let us know about the stream. Don't just, like, not tell anybody. Okay, yeah. It's like, oh, we'll do it for five minutes on my Instagram where nobody can find it. Yeah, no, no, no. We'll, we'll figure it out. Mark, there used to be an acrylic light-up sign sitting on the counter. Ah, uh, there was. Brad P. I'm trying to remember which one and where. Oh, no, no. It's, it's uh, Brad P., you're right. I think it just got folded down here. Sit down here. Wait, we need... I want to show we still have the sign here. Yes. yes. So we just tucked it away for now so it didn't get knocked over. So. That's what that's for. Galaxy Explorer, any of? We do have a couple of those, Tegan, especially the new ones. I don't know if we have the old originals. Here's the new ones here. Mark, the shirt with the drill and the rocks. Come on, man. You're killing me. <laughs> I'm XL tall. Oh, there you go. We'll work on it, uh, Geology Joe. That's just the logo then? We can work on that. How much for Blackbeard from Pirates of the Caribbean? That's a good request, Ella. We'll look over there. Thank you. My wife made that for the store, and we were wondering what happened to it. No, no, no. It's still there, Brad Pete. We just uh, set it down there so it would stay out of the way for a second. I think we had a lot of stuff going over the counter right now. <laughs> Let's see. Um, what are we looking for? Darth Vader minifigure and Blackbeard from Pirates of the Caribbean. So there's Blackbeard there. He is $44. $44.99. Very cool. He also has an exclusive sword, so I don't know if we have that with the figure or not. Yes, just the square logo and the drill bit breaking up the little gray rock pieces. Oh, well, we can work on that, Jello Joe. It's pretty easy if we have it already. Let's see. How much is a Darth Vader minifigure? So it looks like anywhere from $25, $30, $50. Going to be in new condition. Oh. Some of these are as high as $50 or even $180 for the light up one. $30 more one. Sucks. <laughs> so a number of Darth Vader figures there. You can find all of our Star Wars figures on our website, atlbrick.com. Didn't see any Western. Yep, no Western, Andrew. We need some people to trade some Western stuff into us. Built modulars. We do have a few. I don't think we have the detective's office right now, which is one I know you're looking for, Grumpy. There's the assembly square, and I think we had a bookshop. Yeah, there's one over in the corner there. A little light on built modulars right now, which is understandable, 20% off, you know. Flying monkeys figures, there's two different ones. Let's look at that, and I think that's probably gonna be our last thing we're able to look at, we'll see. Oh no, the hour's almost up and we have yet to Three full days to s to see you again. Exactly, Brad P. Yes, three full days till uh, next stream. It's it'll be sooner than you think, and we have a nice uh, Saturday uh, video coming up. We covering st uh, Stephen and Daniel's trip to Germany, so that's pretty fun. We have one flying monkey figure available. The other one seems to not be here. This one is sixty dollars, so he's pretty collectible. There you go. All right, that's about an hour here. Thank you for the stream as always. You're welcome, Recurring Awesome. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and dropping all those awesome requests. We will be back again next week, next Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with more live streams. So look forward to all those. we got more videos coming out too. Steven's mocks. we got uh, Steven and Daniel's trip to Germany to cover. 
So thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time. And we've also got a cool Nexonite Night live stream we'll be doing at some point, <laughs> building our own Nexonite set. All right, bye guys, take care.